In this lesson, I want to talk about some of the terms that you're going to hear as a Java developer. One of the things that really kind of tripped me up when I started working in Java is all the different acronyms that get thrown around and not really understanding the differences between them. So we're just going to go through a few, talk about them, and hopefully this will help you going forward as you start your journey as a Java developer. So Java itself is just the language that we're using to write our applications in. Java's been around for over 20 years now, and there's other languages out there that you might have heard of are like Swift, C Sharp, Go, Ruby, and so on. So Java is the language that we're using to write our applications in. Java SE, you'll hear this sometimes, and that stands for Standard Edition. When people are talking about Java, this is 99% of the time what they're talking about. There are other editions like Enterprise Edition, uh, Me, Java FX, and those are useful for other types of development. But like I said, 99% of the time what you're going to be talking about is the Java API that we're all used to working with. That'll sometimes be referred to as Standard Edition. Next, you'll hear this a lot. It is the JRE. It's the Java Runtime Environment. And that's what you need to run Java applications. It's what non-developers have on their machines. They'll have a JRE so that they can run a Java application. And this isn't what we need. We actually need to step up one more. And we need the JDK. And the JDK is the Java Development Kit. The JDK is basically a superset of the JRE. It's going to contain everything that the JRE has, plus it's going to contain tools like compilers and debuggers that are necessary for us to develop applications. JRE has all the libraries, the Java Virtual Machine, which we'll get to in a second, and other components that are written in the Java programming language. So, just to kind of keep it simple, JRE is what non-developers need to run Java applications. JDK is what we as developers need to develop applications. So then I mentioned the Java Virtual Machine, or JVM as you'll hear it referred to. And what happens when we're starting to write these Java applications, we'll write our source code, and then we will compile it down to uh, binary code, which is also known as bytecode. So the Java virtual machine is there to go ahead and interpret that bytecode. So Java was designed to allow application programs to be built that could be run on any platform uh, without having to be rewritten or recompiled for each separate platform. And what makes that possible is the JVM. So there's a JVM on Linux, there's a JVM on Mac, and there's a JVM on Windows. And so all we have to do is write our code once, compile it down to bytecode, and those individual Java virtual machines for that system will go ahead and read the bytecode or interpret it. So that's a JVM. You also hear SDK thrown around a lot, and that stands for Software Development Kit. Really, this is just a collection of libraries that we can use to go ahead and build out applications. And the Java Standard Edition itself comes with an SDK with a whole bunch of libraries that we can use to build our applications. Uh, if we wanted to build an application on top of, say, like Facebook, Facebook provides an SDK or a software development kit that we can use to kind of build out our application to connect to, say, a Facebook application. So that's SDK. Then you'll hear about build tools. So build tools are really cool, probably a little outside the realm of this particular course, but we are going to mention them later. And really build tools help us go ahead and build our Java applications. And you know, back in the old days, I am kind of dating myself now, but back in the old days, we had to download like a zip or an SDK from say Facebook, and we had to download it ourselves and put it inside of the folder in our application. And then the Java class path would pick it up and we'd be able to use that. Well, we don't do a lot of that anymore. Um, in something like Maven, uh, so Maven and Gradle are the two big build tools in the Java community. 
But in, say, something like Maven, we declare that Facebook SDK as a dependency, and our application will download that for us and basically give it to us and allow us to use it without having to declare it. And then we could do different things in these build tools like pre-process or post-process. You know, we can do different actions inside of these build tools that really help us build our applications and not have it be such a manual process. So build tools are really cool. Again, we're going to mention those later and we'll kind of give you just a high overview so you understand what those are as well. And finally, you'll hear the term JAR or Java Archive. You can see the AR there uh, capitalized and that's kind of where the JAR comes from. So really a JAR is nothing more than a zip file which contains a bunch of classes or one or more classes and really some meta information about those classes but it's how we package up our applications or SDKs and then hand them off to another Java developer so that they can use them. So those are some of the most frequent terms that you're going to hear. Uh, so I hope that helped. Uh, again, I know this can be confusing because when I started, I was confused between especially what a JRE and a JDK was. It just didn't click for a little bit. Um, so I hope this helped clear up some of your questions about some of these terms. And I hope you are paying attention because we are going to have a quiz on that right now.